Example 1. In figure above, a man is jogging in front of his house. After running from O to B, he reverses his direction and stops at A. Find the distance traveled and the displacement of the man in the motion. Click on the answer button to proceed. When the man traveled from O to A, the distance is 30 meter, A to B 50 meter, and B back to A 50 meter. The total distance traveled is 60 meter. Displacement is the shortest length between O and A, therefore the displacement is 30 meter. These examples show us how to determine distance and displacement of a motion in a straight line. Example 2. A car travels 12 km towards east and then 6 km towards north. What is the distance traveled and displacement of the car in the journey? Click on the answer buttons to proceed. From the question, we knew that the car traveled 12 km east, 6 km north. Therefore, the total distance traveled is 12 plus 6, which is equal to 18 km. How about displacement? Displacement is the shortest length between A and B. Let us draw a straight line from A to B. The length of this line is the displacement. We can see that these three lines form a right angle triangle. Therefore, we can find AB by using Pythagoras theorem. By using Pythagoras theorem, the displacement is equal to the root of 12 square plus 6 square, which is equal to 13 kilometer. This is still not a complete answer. Displacement is a vector quantity. Hence, we need to tell its direction as well. Let's assume that the angle of the displacement from the horizontal is theta. We can then find the value of the theta by using trigonometry. Tangent theta equal to 6 over 12, which is then equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, theta is equal to art tangent 1 over 2 which is equal to 26.6 degree. This example actually shows us the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is the total path traveled by an object from one point to another, whereas displacement is the shortest length between two points in a specific direction. Direction must be stated when writing displacement.